Yeah, you can call me uh, Manahi. I'm just uh, making sure with uh, uh, Morris, he's Morris Baker, he's, he's not going to the hui today at uh, Porter House. Um, but I tell you what, I've just dropped some things on Facebook. Um, I know all about um, um, Manukau Marae at uh, Afitu. That's the Tahuna Marae on it. They changed the name. I think they've lost it anyway. They've lost it in a court case, that, that property. Uh, but uh, that's that's where um, that name came from, uh, from Hokianga, Hokianga uh, and where uh, and Taheke. That's where that name comes from. Okay. So you can give me a call if you want, but it doesn't matter. I'll just let you know. That's all. I'm going to open the thing right up the can of worms. Okay. Bye. Uh, we're rolling. I think. Yep, we are. Excuse me if I'm dressed like this on my videos, but <clears throat> it's what I'm saying, not what I look like. But I want to just reassure you that I'm wrapping up this um, Pakia history uh, that's fabricated the Lefle for Manukau title at uh, Hafitu or Manukau Marae. It's got a name Tahuna Marae on it. Uh, and that's the wrong name. They've stolen that, and that name's come from uh, Hokianga, and in the Taheke uh, area of uh, Morris Baker's title, Hori Tikuri. You know, I'm going to split that uh, uh, history right open, uh, that connection there, how we have fabricated the Iwi Maori titles in the New South Wales government and New Zealand government crown. Um, that's uh, uh, completely fraud, fraudulent and corrupted the Manukau title and the Horitakuri title. Uh, those two are paramount chiefs um, with the British um, uh, transfer of title that's come out of Te Rewaikato Wharehirehe, the Manukau title. Now they've changed all the language in those titles and with Mohi Temati Manukau the fourth in Matakawi, that's where he lived with his grandfather of Morris uh, Rogan and also his grandfather uh, John Rogan. Uh, I've got all that history intact where the names have changed. Te Waikato is a female on the Te Uriaho Whakapapa and that's where it's gone all pear I've got them right on Facebook now on my, on my page. The deeds, receipts, number 79 and 80, states there that Rogan bought the land of Ref Ref Manukau of Pukikaui, and that's Afitu inside that from Clevedon, east coast to Afitu on the west coast, south lookout point of the Manukau Harbour, and the north lookout point was Pupanga, where the British settlers came in with um, William Simons, the son of Lieutenant William Simons of Edinburgh Magistrate Court. Uh, 23rd Regiment of the uh, Royal British Navy and those titles are intact and those are what I am as the native um, um, band commissioner to check who is corrupting the titles that have come from Edinburgh Magistrate Court and that Lieutenant uh, um, um, William Simons and his Magistrate Bank that went to the Royal Bank Magistrate Court Native Magistrate Court in Helensville. Now I've got all that title where the Ngāti Whātua Iwi Māori tribe was homemade. That, that was fabricated out of thin air and um, fighting against uh, uh, Ngāpui uh, tribes, the original um, uh, Cook Island Tahitian tribes and uh, intermarriage between them but they're still fighting like ISIS in America ISIS fighting Americans in a civil war and this was a civil war set up by the British government with this 1834 flag, the declaration of war flag to cause wars to make bank money. War makes bank money and so that's what I'm all about, money, Bundy, money. And uh, Hui, they've got it, put a hose today, um, um, put a hose, uh, Rukas, um, um, Waitaha, 
uh, headquarters in Kaikaui. Uh, you're using that memorial on top of the Taheke Marae, uh, manga, belong to Hori Tikuri. And it's pumped right in front of Ma uh, Morris uh, Baker, or Pekka, and his ancestors. His ancestors are buried around uh, uh, Hori Tikuri. Uh, and they're there. Uh, and the family, I've spoken to them, Kanoi to Kanoi. Uh, to get all the history out. They trust me, like all the other Paramount Chiefs have trusted me in Moi Te Māti Manakao, fourth Paramount Chief. And I've got all his history and the Rogan history that married the Manakaos and the Wānoas that forms the uh, legal structure of title transfers. And that's my business. That's my ancestral DNA, uh, Northern Ireland, uh, Irish stock, uh, uh, title inside Belfast uh, and down Patrick uh, uh, that brought those titles here and into uh, the uh, Edinburgh Magistrate Court. Uh, all those uh, Freemasons, uh, part of the structure of the uh, uh, Manukau history in the Kaipa Harbour, Awaroa Bank, Native Magistrate Court. Um, Right up to that, uh, no one can question what I do, or say, or write, or display on YouTube videos, uh, and also Facebook sites and Twitter, Google, uh, is correct. It's for you not to say it's correct, but no one has um, challenged what I say, and um, uh, or re rebutted, refuted any statements I make, and therefore there is no contest. There is no contest, it's a shut case book, and the uh, event has ended. The time has passed, and the truth is all the documents I put online are true and correct. I'm saying uh, in this video uh, uh, a statement, fact, cited evidence that uh, the Tahuna Marae at Afitu was stolen by the Minhenics that come from Taheke Marae under Hori Tikuri and his father Ramaka. Ramaka is buried at the back of Morris Baker's house. He's occupied the land and it's in his name. It's transferred from Hori Tikuri to uh, his son Hiramaya to uh, Lobo uh, Morris Baker. And it's in capital so he's a commercial landowner to challenge anybody in the British commercial contract, land owner, uh, legal authority, jurisdiction of those captains of the ships as surrogates, the same as I am, surrogate King William III, King William IV, King George IV, King George III, the father of King George IV and King William IV, and Ernest Augustus, King Ernest Augustus I. So I'm holding those titles with the St. Patrick's Order, eight point star, uh, in Belfast, um, down Patrick, and my Rogan and Cosgrove coat of arms. I carry that with me as title as well as the Moai Crown title in London, standing there. That memorial belongs to my family, the one or people of Raiati Island, Tahiti, and also Rapa Nui Island <coughs> country, uh, and uh, linked to Tipito. Uh, at, uh, Anakena on uh, Rapa Nui, Big Shine, Sun, Ra, Midday, to East Cape, North Island, New Zealand, Tipeto on the Marangaro, Marae, Marangaro landlocks. Uh, that connection is there, Moko Nui, Big Face, Sun, Ra, off the coast there, the closest distance on this planet Earth to the Sun, Ra. And that's my title. That's on the Maui statue in Dunedin, the park is, and Queen Victoria put that statue down there in Dunedin, and that's my title. The crown on his head, the dirt crown, is God's law, L-O-R-E, crown. Now, put all that together with King William IV flag, the 1834 Declaration of War flag for bank, magistrate court, money. And that's how that works. So that title uh, went to uh, Refere for Manukau at Afitu. And so the New South Wales Crown Government, Iwi Māori, stole his history 
tampered with his titles and his transfer of titles from Tino Waikato Whare, Hira Hira Manukau in Edinburgh Magistrate Court, 1820 to 1830 period of commercial contract between him and King George IV <coughs> in a private contract admiralty court martial law magistrate court to Awaroa Native Magistrate Court with the Rogan family in Helensville on a 10 acre block that cut down the Maori land blocks to 10 acres so they can single out the Maoris. The Maoris is not in our language with Maui. Maui crown is not Maori. Maori was invented, the word, in 1945. All those documents on the treaty settlements and the Iwi Maori crown are false and um, uh, fraudulent uh, names uh, that were created uh, by the New South Wales Crown Government and New Zealand Government for their own convenience and their own financial investment interests that money was going to themselves and not to the hapu or the chiefs, the Faroe trees, Rewhara Manukau and his descendants. I'm here for Rewhara Manukau and Te Rewakato Whareheri in Manukau and Hori Tikuri descendants uh, um, uh, living, uh, that's Morris uh, Baker or Pekka uh, from Taheke, he's living on the road uh, um, uh, with uh, his ancestor Ranaka at the back on the Mona, Mona on his land blocks, he's recovered the land blocks back into his name and living in that Ratna church house, the little 7 by 7 meter church. I put it on Facebook, the photo of that, just as proof that I'm going to string it all together on the maps that he's given me and the title numbers, certificates, British certificates, and for his claim against all of you people, Poroho, who can't prove how you got one tupuna up on the hill when Hori Tikuri is right up the top of the hill and his ancestors are buried around him. I'm going to put those plaques up and put a fence around it so that it blocks you out and all that whakapapa. Rahiri's on there, all those other whakapapa. There should be a Rahiri hill down the road, 5k down the road. That's a Rahiri memorial goes there. But this one is Manukau and Hori Tikuri, those two original surnames titles to that hill and his gravesite. All those whanos around there are married into Lobo, Morris Baker's family. I'm making this statement quite clear to you, Poroho, Te Koroako, names all over the place, Ruka, Birch, all you, those two plaques are there with no bodies underneath. That other one with the, with the whakapapa on, it's got no bodies underneath. You've just plonked them right in front of Morris Baker, and that's the biggest offence I've ever seen. All those chiefs that signed, 75 of them, signed at Rangini, or at uh, the Mission House, rather. The Mission House is a treaty of Mangungu. The treaty of Mangungu. That's what that Mission House is there for. Not the Treaty of Waitangi, the Treaty of Mangungu. You see, because that Waitangi name belongs to the Manukau family from Rekohu country or Chatham Islands. That's Rekohu country, Moriori title. They created that title and that belongs to Manahi Parapara Mohini. You see the names? You see the names are so old, it'll write you right off the Manukau name, the Mohini name, the Parapara name will write you right off the land because the British picked it. If you want a bone to pick, go and pick it with the British because they've got their titles on the land. You have to make your own titles, Poro. Don't use those documents because the Freemasons, Scottish, are watching you. My business is in Scotland with all the people in the world watching you people playing up and I'm just showing them what mischief you fellows are doing in that office of yours in Kaikaui. Now, Bundy says Lobo or Morris is going to the Hui. He's not going to the Hui, Bundy or Poro, because I said so. You know, 
I said, so. I'm speaking for the land, the king, that flag you fellows are playing around with. I'm speaking for the crown, corporations, the ones that make the money to build the roads and put the gas in your car. And you fellows say, money's not the matter. And the land is, well, show me your whakapapa that you were there first. That's what sovereignty means. I was here, I saw you coming around. That's what Hori Takuri said right up the top of the hill. I can see right around where nobody was. And I'm looking at you people down there. And all of a sudden, you, Poro, and all your clan came along, ponked your whakapapa right in the middle, as if to say, you own the place. No, you go and put it on your own hill. Take it off that hill, you see? It's the same, that's the same offence as what Campbell did on One Tree Hill. I went up there and put the plaque of Kafaru, the Wakato junk up there. You see, this has got Kupia up there. It's got Kupia's title up there. But that's the New South Wales, not the British. That's the New South Wales put that there, because I know all that history more than anybody else. And I can say, I can talk for the Manukau's, because they can't talk for themselves. Otherwise, they'd be doing this job with the Freemasons. You can't touch Freemason stuff with Mohit Damanti Manigal, Paramount Chief. I've got them here. I can do what I like with them, write all over their documents without fear because they're watching me. I've got my manager in Scotland looking after this business with the Freemasons watching you fellas mischief around with these documents. All the legal documents in this world Certificates, licenses, belongs to the Freemasons. But I hope, play with them, you're playing with me, and fire. Because you can't prove you only got fuck up, you haven't got individual chief of your own standing up that hill commanding a 360 view right at the top. That's Hori Takuri. Now, Morris can talk for him, not you. Morris is talking for him. He's not going to your hui today because you're not going to get consent from him, me, or money. Money is not going to your hui today because I see it. Out. What they do? Listen to what I say. You might get somewhere. Listen to you, Polo. It's all fake. It's all fraud. It's all corruption. And you don't talk about money. Like Danny Watson says, I'll cut you off at the legs. Anybody talking about money. Well, you're not going to get any money. You, you can go and sell kumaras for potatoes and sell kumaras for something else. And, you, and quite frankly, Bundy, that flag you, you're flying around is for trade in other countries. You said you're not interested in trading in any other country. I stick you to that statement with all your meetings there because you signed the documents for me, but didn't see Refa Refa and Rogan had signed a contract. None of you know, well, how that works. You see, because you're skimming over the top with Whakapapa. Whakapapa can't make money. It's just the native title. It's stuck there on the land and everybody's on the land. They got their Whakapapa too. And they got their Whakapapa. They were in your Whakapapa. They married him to your life. You didn't say no when a pretty girl came along white one. He didn't say no. He jumped in there, right? Well, that's how you, you're stuck with all that going on. Anyway, Lobo, um, I'm going to have a meeting here in Auckland at uh, Tūmu Wakamarai. It's not far away. And I still haven't got the letter off to the lawyer yet because I've been sorting out all these videos. I've got over 50 going on 60 now videos just for this case. And the book that thick, just for this case. Okay, that, that magistrate court book is just for this case. The other one for Mohi Manukau is that thick, is just for this case on Cook Street. That much work just for one block of land. So it's going to be seized on that basis that the title was corrupted by the New South Wales government. And Iwi Maori, you're going to get the bill. I'm just making this quite clear to you people. And you, Polo, you get the bill too because you're a third party playing around with the Queen that's I'm going to hang. You know, i got the right to hang because the law says that in these instructions of King William IV, 
Execution Act. Hanging and Chains Act. It, you, I can do that. You're going to stop me. You can't stop me. And you say you're going to stop me going to England. What for? Brother? What are you going to England for? With what? With that fuck up of memorial? No, it's not going to work. It needs a bulldozer right out and put on the other hill on the other side. Rahi is help. Rahi has nothing to do with this contract. He didn't have mortgages. You didn't have mortgages in your whakapapa over there. Now you take it off and put it over there. And you go and practice whakapapa over there with a whakapapa hill, not a commercial hill. This is a commercial contract hill with Lobo saying so, that he's got the commercial documents that makes money, you stupid bastards. I can't help but tell you fellows, you're rotten sods playing around with, tamping with, Grave sites. Tampering with a grave site that doesn't belong to you. It belongs to Lobo and whoever he says belongs to it. You got your own whakapapa, you got your own urupas, get the hell off that mountain and go and get your own. Take your stuff over there and practice your whakapapa there. Those chiefs that, that signed there is on Lobo's land. It's not on your land. You haven't got a title. If you haven't got a title, it's not your land, right? I'm saying the Moriori money cows were here long before you, lot of fucking useless bastards. It says in the history. You fellows have altered the history. You've tampered with things. But I'm saying this on this video because I'm sick of you buggers. I'm going to live in Philippines because this country obviously is the worst corrupted bastard of a country in the world. And the Queen is running it in Waitangi Marae. That ship of Admiralty there belongs at Mangungu Mission House there. That is where the British landed and that is where they made their treaty inside that Mission House. And that's why I'm saying to Bundy, Matapurai Andrews, Jerry Matapurai Andrews, ex-New Zealand Governor-General, Thug went there before he went to England. Follow the ship backwards. It went from Waitangi and it came from Hokianga Harbour and it came from Mangangungu, Mangungu, and then it went from there back to England. That's why he went there to have a service, to give him a blessing to go as a Maori. Well, there wasn't any Maoris in those days. You fellas have made it up. You have fabricated it all. You have buggered it up. You've buggered up the history here. And I'm holding you for breaking all the history up to suit around yourselves. The sovereignty was, I was here. I saw you lot pull up in your wakas. And they weren't made out of kauri either. You've got kauri wakas with names on from the islands. And they'll sink the first bloody wave they come to. That's what Mohi Malikau says. They're stupid Maoris. Talking about wakas made of heavy log, and it hits, it's not meant to be for in the open sea. It just skims over the, over the waves offshore, so if it sinks, they can swim back. Stupid buggers, writing up history and these treaty claims. All your treaty claims to Riho is fabricated. It's not true. It's bullshit. Just like what Tony Harris is saying on your Totoko radio. It's bullshit. The whole bloody lot is bullshit. Myth. It's myths and legends made so that it looks like a Maori, sounds like a Maori, and acts like a stupid Maori. I don't mind saying this on this, this video because you fellas are shutting your mouth and not challenging what I say. Right on Facebook, all of about 60 videos just on this subject to split the Pandora's box right open. And it's that memorial there. And Taheke with no cross on it of King George on that flag. And you're flying the flag around, no cross on that memorial with the whakapapas on it. And the king that gave the flag for you. And it's got no legal effect in it, what you do with it. And you're just playing around with it as though you're going to hold us off. You, you're not going to hold me off, Poro, because too many people know. That's why I put these things on, on video, on YouTube, so that it makes you look like a stupid fucking fool. You go to Japan, that's where your brain is, it's in Japan, where all the Fukushima is, all that dirty stuff that 
nuclear stuff. That's you. You go and fix it up. You go and fix it up, bro. Get the fuck out of here and go and fix it up. Because that's what's ruining this bloody fish, killing the fish, killing every bloody thing. And your bloody... <coughs> your way of doing things. It's not ticker. It's just mouth wash. I can, I can say more, not, not speaking Maori, I can say more because I understand English documents. I can understand English documents better than you fucking lot. You don't know because you don't want to know. You, you don't want to know. You think fucking Papa's going to save you? No. The British will come and blow the bloody brains out like how they did at Kororareka and Russell. They blew you all to bits. Blow, 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 blow your bloody lots, brains out, then shift it to Awaro in Hellersville, then put the Manukau title on. Seize all the French titles in the South Island, seize all your titles in New South Wales, and put them in the Manukau title. And that's all there is. And I'm here to speak for the Manukau title and King William IV. You're not speaking for King William IV. You're only speaking about your fucker papa. So leave that bloody flag alone. I told Bundy. I'll take the flag off you, because you're not using it for trade. And Bundy, you said, oh, you're not talking about trade, not money. Well, what are you talking about? Fuck up, and sovereignty. Well, that's all you're going to get. That's all you're going to talk about. That's all you're going to get. You can't get anything out of that flag, because I'm not going to let you. Because you're making statements. You're getting yourself in a big hole, legal hole. The whole lot of you are liable. You're on the side with a pound note on your head, all you lot in that. Waitaha, who are you today? Take notice. You are in the Queen's jurisdiction and trying to get out of it. And don't think you're going to use that flag to get the money out of the Queen. No, it's not your flag to do that. It's not for that reason. It's for Lobo, on his car, the flags are flying, that's the king's flag. He's flying that flag legal. Okay? And we're flying it legal with Manahi Moriori title to Manukau. And he's an administrator with me of that Moriori Manukau trust over this whole country and this whole Pacific Islands and the world for that matter. The New World Order. You got that? It's all about money. Now, I haven't got any yet. I can't even get on my own bloody land because you fucking lot are on this side are holding me up with your trust and all your bullshit. Well, we're going to wipe the whole bloody lot out after Cook Street next week. Watch. Okay? So I'm a bit late getting a letter to money. I'll try and get it today. I need my fish eggs to come first. So I'm going to go get those first. I've got my kennels in here. Keep my brain going. Clean me up, chuck the bloody pills away, because they're bloody bullshit too. They're there to kill you. Okay, now, this is what happens. I'm letting the public of New Zealand know that the Iwi Maori Crown is a private company, corporation, interest of their own. They have defrauded the public of New Zealand with their documentation as against these documents. I've got copy there. Look. I've got cost me money for this that nobody's happy, happy to pay for. Right, these. I've got three of them. One for the private investigator or debt collector. Right, they look investigations. One for the lawyer, which shall be, we, we, we remain un, unsaid so far. And this one, which is mine, the original Magistrate Court with the instructions for that flag, for that 1834 Declaration of War flag, Bundy, that you seem to know it's for something else, for your just to wave around to say, oh, I'm sovereign, oh, I'm sovereign, oh, I'm sovereign. Boom, 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 boom. That's what how, how, how Pody Harris uh, describes it on Total Radio. I've got them on, on the film. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. That's your, your Hungi Hika law, Bundy. You use this boom, boom, boom. Get your muskets. That's your law. This is not your law. Yet you sign right here. It says clearly 
Rifa Rifa Manico, Rokina Rogan. Contract, his name is in capital letters, which means he's the commercial land owner. And Lobo has the same documents with his name all over it. Here's the offensive reject of the Manukau name here on the front. Manukau, they didn't put the Manukau name on the Lynns New South Wales title on Cook Street in Auckland. And that's what I've been going on about since 2008. They rejected it in the land information of under the 1952, 1952 Land Transfer Act of New Zealand. You're required by law to put any interest in land on the title and they failed to do that. They failed to do that. In A81B one, A bar 528 is the number of the land of all that block of land in 61, 1 Spa 61 Cook Street or now they changed the name to 77 Cook Street or 98 Wellesley Street. They've, they've flicked around with the title, corrupted the title but there's Manahi Parapara Mohini's JP, just as a piece for this court, this Tuunga Waka Marae Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court to build them because they failed to put me in the court and try me as guilty. They found me innocent and they are guilty. Okay, they are guilty. And here is the receipt. Deed. Receipts number 79 and number 80. I blew it up. Look, I'm making this statement on this video that here you see Referent from Manukau sold a whole of Pukekohe with Afitu and the Manukau Marae that the Minhinix from Tahike Marae area of Horitikuri stole that piece of land and put Tahuna Marae name on the Manukau Marae name and removed it. The same way as they did to my Marangaro Marae with my Tupuna Mat Matauru Wanoa and put Aotere Marae name on it and removed it of the Marangaro land blocks in the Portugiro Kiwaipu district county area. You see they've done the same there and they've done the same here and they've done the same to Lobo's title in Tahike where the British came in and that's what I'm wrapping up with Cook Street. I'm just making these statements uh, to Manahi, to, they're on the record, um, that um, they are um, uh, fraudulent documents and Bundy Waitai has signed. Bundy Waitai is part of that Te Uri Ho, uh, Whakapapa, that used, used Tira Waikato as a female. When Tira Waikato is a male from Mangatauteri Mountain in Cambridge to Cambridge, England to Cambridge there. All the history I've got here. And Bundy said he's a male. How can you prove that, Bundy? He doesn't come from where you come from and he's not a Cook Islander as you are. He's not a Cook Islander. Okay? He's a Mori Ori. You can't mix the two. That's the trouble with you people, Poraho. You've mixed everybody's whakapapa and made a new title. No. You're rubbish. Fucking rubbish. Take your bloody theories and your beliefs off that mountain. Just the way I'm going to do Ma, he said, kick those titles on his hill off and put Kafaru the giant of Waikato back up there. Because that's how it is. Tainui, you weren't around. You weren't around when Kafaru and the Moriori's were around. Tainui came later in 1400. The Moriori only needed to go back 300 years, 300 AD with, with the Moai statue because that's in the British and the New, Zealand, New South Wales history. The Moai statue 300 AD. He goes further back than that but they locked it at 300. So that was there before Kupe. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Akarana here, 11th of November 1862 formed the New Zealand Native Land Act right here with the referent for Manukau and John Rogan received E. Hanson Turton. Okay?
Uh, okay, I'm, I'm just citing this. And I'm live. I'm live and you can see my mouth moving. And that's the proof. With Tawa, and it says here in English, I have received from Mr. Rogan five pounds. I will repay this to him when we receive the payment for the for our land, Uatawa, Pukekohe is the name of that land. When he says, I will repay him, that's the deposit. You see, the deposit is the whole of DP on the DP number of the land. But you see his name is in capitals. Okay? So they split the name up and put two signatures, one for Referefa and one for Manukau. Then away they went playing around with that name, Referefa into Rewa, and, and that's where the fraud began. And then Te Waikato in the female Bundy, your Waitai name is clearly in the treaty claims of Te Uriaho and Te Rorua. Te Rorua was the main tribe up there of Ngāti Whātua, the homemade bullshit whakapapa that created all your whakapapa under Te Waikato female line and that's where the discrepancy or the tampering of the Manukau title here is Bundy, and I'm afraid that you're all caught out. You're all caught in a fraud and you can't get out of it because I've got you covered inside the fraud here. Judgment debtors in favour of judgment creditor, the Moriori Manukau and Horitikuri's title. <coughs> That's why Morris Baker's not going because He's not going to put his name to any of your documents or appear to be supporting you. We don't need your support, Bundy. I told you, I told you in the last video, I don't need your support. You signed here and blackmailed me and turned against me and didn't even save me when that bastard, thug, hammer, apiata, bulldozed me out with his chest off underneath the popo. He's not from that land. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this court case against you in that Tuumuaka Marae, Hama, because I'm holding the Ututonga title for all that land and you're going to get booted off. I'm seizing the whole place, all right, up the coast street. I'm seizing all that and the ship on the other side and I'll return the ship back to Mangungu Mission House where the first treaty was signed before any other treaty in this country under this Manukau title and are free to the bullshit Minenex fabricated that title to Te Uriaho Humbug tribe. Okay? Thin air, just like your money, the US dollar and the New Zealand dollar, thin air money that's worth fuck all. Devalued a third of its value on the land here and you taking 1% useless bastards. You don't know about money, you deserve nothing. You deserve less than one percent. And that's what you got from the government. Because they're clever than you. You you you're not bothered to learn the instructions for the flag you're flying around. That's why it's got no legal effect. In this case it has. It has legal effect. We've taken you off Bundy and we've taken you off Hedowini because your Clark's family did all the transactions and made sure the land got stolen. Okay, that's, that's what I can say. Manahi is, is not privy to a lot of the Ratna uh, side of Mohi Manukau and the Freemasons. That's none of anybody's business. And it's none of anybody's business how I talk about these documents, that flag and the kings and the Freemasons' documents. I'm written all over them, stamped all over them, defaced them, but they got my words right in the middle of them because I've gone along with the Scottish people and the Irish people who put all these things together to take this land from you, to put their people on and marry your fucking people and stuff you up. Okay? It's too late because you haven't got enough Maoris. You can't let alone find them and they're pandering to the Queen and dancing around, getting paid to dance around, do how can get wild, right? People have moved on. I heard it on Radio Totoko this morning with Pa and Te Onero say, where to from here and we can let the past go. You can't let this go. It's got to be fixed before you 
go. Right? The past is the present, is the future. Without a future, there is no past. Without a past, there is no future, absolutely, because you're all mixed up. You're all fucked up because it's been designed that way by your own Maori people are your own worst enemy. That's what I'm saying. A Moai, not Maori. You can keep the Maori because that word belongs to Pākehā. They made that so that they can fuse themselves inside your whakapapa. And that's what they've done successfully. And you can't back out of it because it's on documents. And you've signed them, Bundy. You've signed these documents. That this is true that Rewha Rewha Manukau is the commercial landowner without looking at documents and check it. It's your own ignorance about the car you've got, the house you've got, the fuel they've put in your car, the cities that you go and buy groceries, the highways that you drive on, the trade that you have amongst other, other people here with all your produce from your land. You don't realise that it takes documents above the land to do it. You're ignoring that and saying Fucker Papa comes first. Well, how many people are going to buy that, Bundy? How many people are going to trade with you or do anything with you when we've got our Fucker Papa, the party has got their Fucker Papa, everybody got their Fucker Papa with their laws, their own laws, because God owns all the laws in the world and Moa is God. Earth, planet, God. One of the stone gods. And you've got a wooden piece of memorial in the paddock at Waitangi, they're wood, okay? they can get burnt but not a stone, it's etched in earth, the wood can burn, and they're standing there looking at you for this mischief, your tupuna are standing there looking at you mischief, and pushing me off out of there, so that's all I want to say at this moment, I'll, I'll, uh, I think the thing's going to run out, I'll ring uh, Lobo now, and tell him what's going on. Okay, uh, today's uh, Friday, the 24th of November 2017. For the record, I'm just saying that the Manukau title uh, was corrupted on Cook Street and corrupted in Afitu, uh, south uh, uh, Manukau Harbour, and corrupted on um, Taheke, um, Marae, Urupa, that belongs to Hori Tikuri. And that's been corrupted by Poroho and his lot and all those people who put the memorial there and no date on it, uh, no reference to who's buried under there other than two plaques that got no bodies on it. Because the family there, the Baker family, has told me all the history I need to know. And Timmy uh, Hainga is not from there, he's from down Tolaga Bay and East Coast. And uh, there's problem there. Um, with um, the family that he's with that have stuck their shells on Lobo's land and that's what he has issues. He has issues and I'm there to back him up to tell him he has the title to the whole place wherever the eye can see. Okay, from that commercial contract. Now this is going with Manahi. He's got this book in its full form. Bundy's only got the front bits and we've crossed that off because He's in a different jurisdiction, he's walked away and left us on our own and Danny Watson has said that will uh, cut me loose and let me go. And they say they support me, I, 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 I can't believe them. I can't believe them to be that, uh, that, uh, that way, that they say you go and, and leave us alone to do and you carrying on with your fraud documents and you can't back it up with one on the hill. Everything's one. One Prime Minister to run the whole country, one Queen and one King and one Chief on the hill. That's how this works. Okay, so let's go in as evidence. All this in here is evidence and Lobo's titles are in here. Lobo's titles are in here. Two names of the owners here, right? That's his name and his transfer from uh, Hori Tikuri. Hori Tikuri. Yeah. I can't read. Here Hori Tikuri. The name is in capitals. Hori Tikuri. That means he's a commercial landowner of all those lands. 
all the lands. I can't see Rahiri here. There's no Rahiri here. And so they don't matter. They don't matter. Anything that's, that's not in the commercial times of 1820 to 1837. Only those periods. And you're locked in 1834, 18, 1840, Bundy. You're playing around on this side with the, with the, with the uh, um, Kelvin Davis. They're in 1840. You can't stretch back because I've already had it out with the Office Treaty Settlements with Moi Manikar's Y121 claim. I went right through it till it stopped them in their tracks. They could be they sacked her in the end. But that was the end of that. Particulars of title of owners. I'm just trying to read, but I can't see. I can't read. Eyes are not that good. Particular titles. This is Morris's titles. Transfer from Hori to Kuri to from Rameka to Hori to Kuri, from Hori to Kuri to Hiramai, the son, and from the son to Lobo, or um, Hiramaya Hori Takuri, Hori Takuri, original owners there, successors, Hiramaya Hori Takuri, the whole share, right? The whole share, it says, the whole share. Court hearing fee, one pound. No survey, lien due. That means it's incumbent. No money owed. Particular order dated 6th of February 1879. 1870. I'm just telling you people, I put this in underneath Refere for title to Afitu, where the Waikato, where those, those cheeky people on the whakapapa, I'll put the whakapapa on my Facebook, and you're going to see the truth come out of who tampered with the contract. I'm a contract man. Who tampered with the contract? Sixth of February, 1972, I think. So money he's put his stamp on it, that means he's the court. Money he's the court, you need to be a justice piece to have anything to do with courts. So I just put one of the ten titles that Marx has got back. He, he went through a lot of trouble to do that. A lot of persuasion with the council, a lot of p persuasion to get his titles right, to get his history right in order. He has done what I've done for the Manukau's. He's done exactly what I have done with the Manukau's. D. 80. I've got the deeds here. James R. Clendon. Kiwi Kiwi Pomari. You see they're selling land that was already sold by Refa Refa Manukau and his ancestor Tera Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau. And they turned Tera Waikato into a female. That's your line Bundy. Your people I've got the treaty documents out. I, I know all this, but I have to go and refresh myself like what um, uh, Lobo is doing. He's refreshing himself. He's refreshing himself so he knows what to talk about on the Marae. He can talk Maori, but he, he wants to make sure he's got his history right. I'm putting him on track. I'm putting Manahi on track as well. Manahi's on the, on the talking for that Marae. We're, 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 we're Tahege Marae. And he's money he's talking for that church that Lobo is in. He has to give it back to the Ratna uh, church and the flag is in there of Tahike's name on it as being the first Ratna church I reckon can record from the Methodist church at Mangungu Mission House. See, that's where it all started and that's why Mohi Manaka went down that track with his grandfathers, Morris Rogan and John Rogan.
he went along with their story to fabricate what is known as Te Uriahu and Te Tau, Te Uroa, and Ngāti Kawa and all those tribes, Ngāti Kahu, they've all come out of that whakapapa because Mohi Manikau told me all about Ngāti Kahu. So, uh, mere, mere, mere up, up there, uh, up, mere, what's her name? Um, I know all about your title. I know all about your, 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 what, what town you got there, how the Pauls got there, the powders, of how you got there on the land, because and 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 the native lovers, because you people were trying to bulldoze me off the land at Kaipara and with Mohi Manikau, and he's just told the first shut your mouth, and and now you're you're still doing that bulldozing me around, but now my friend um, Dion Walker of uh, Waka is finding out the truth, and he's holding all of you accountable because he's learning from me. Um, what, how it works. Uh, here's, there, here is Rewharewha Manukau's certificate of receipt of the sale of Pukekau here on here and Afitu right inside it where the Minahanics have stolen it. They've lost the land as far as I can see. They lost it in the court.